We've set up shipping zones and some of the easier shipping methods. Now let's look into some of the more complicated methods. Many stores can't offer free shipping. In some of the stores, the shipping costs are just too hard to calculate, so they offer live rate shipping, where you pay the exact shipping cost for the order. We can edit these under Store Setup and then Shipping. Then we can click into one of our shipping zones. I'll scroll down and click into the United States here. I'll click Configure. We can see free shipping and flat rate shipping. And if we scroll further down, we can see the real-time shipping quotes. There are three pre-built options for us, FedEx, UPS, and USPS. If you've never used any of these before, USPS tends to offer some of the best entry-level rates. Once you start shipping lots of packages, you might be able to negotiate lower rates with a different carrier. But for new stores, USPS is usually the best option. All of these services do require you to set up an account on a different site. For UPS and FedEx, you have to set up an account through their site. For USPS, you have to set up an account through Indicia, which Big Commerce will guide you through. We're not going to show you how to create these accounts through other websites, but I do want to show you how you can configure your shipping settings when you're done. I'll click on FedEx, and under the Connection tab, this is where we would enter our key, password, account number, etc. from the FedEx website. But under settings, we can see the settings that we can configure once it's done being set up. So we can call this FedEx, drop off type, we'll just call this a regular pickup. Packaging type, we'd want to go with the box or your packaging. Most of the time I recommend packing everything into a single package if at all possible. For rate type, we can select what rate we want to display to our customer. I recommend account rate. For destination type, we're going to choose residential as the default. And under delivery services, we're going to select all, which is a good place to start. And then you'll start to notice over time what services your customers don't use. Let's say no one uses international priority and International First, we can always disable these as time goes on. It's important to know Big Commerce never shows the customer all of these options. It'll only show the options relevant to them. So if you're in the US, it won't show us any of the international rates because we are using the other rates. And if you don't need freight, it won't show you the freight rates. So you'll probably never see all of these rates, but still it's a good idea to remove the ones that your customers never use. When you're done, you'll click submit. But of course, if you haven't filled out your connection information, you will get an error. You might see a notice up here about an origin address not being set. I'm gonna show you how you can set that. I'll go to cancel. Before we go back, I'll turn on free shipping and flat rate, just so that we have a default set for our store. Now I'll go back, I'll click done, and make sure that your origin address right here is set. That way you can actually get live rate quotes. We've done a lot to our store, so let's make sure these shipping settings are working. Let's go ahead and add something to our cart. I'll scroll down. I'll add blueberry mineral water to our cart. There it is. Let's go to the cart. Let's go ahead and add a few more. And let's check out. Let's go ahead and enter our shipping information. Make sure our billing and shipping address are the same. And because we're ordering over $10, which is our unlockable free shipping amount, we see free shipping or flat rate shipping. But as a user, I'm definitely gonna select free shipping. Let's click continue.
Under Payment, we'll see Credit Card, PayPal, as well as Test Gateway. Let's click on Test Gateway. And the Test Gateway number is 4111111111111111. Let's enter any valid expiration date. Enter some other information and click place order. So our shipping settings are working and in a future video I'll show you what we can do to fulfill these orders.